Well, let's focus on the big announcement that came in overnight, the MSCI Rebal. We have Sriram Velayudan of IAFL who joins us. Hi, Sriram. Good morning. Thanks a lot for joining us here on CNBC TV 18. Well, on HDFC Bank, the disappointment is that this re rebalance will be done over two tranches, not one. So my question to you is, what are the potential inflows, stock price impact in tranche one? And is there any risk to uh, tranche two? Because back of the envelope calculation suggests that it's unlikely to be one. Go ahead. Yeah, hi, Nigel. Good morning. Uh, so, uh, largely the market expectation centered around uh, the wait-up happening in one tranche. But now what uh, the index provider, MSCI, decided is uh, they will be implementing it in two tranches. Uh, so, uh, in the first tranche, we are anticipating inflows of roughly $2 billion, uh, which is around uh, three days of volume impact and roughly six, six to seven days of delivery impact. So what I believe is uh, 1.8 to 2 billion dollars is still a uh, significant. I definitely wouldn't consider it as a consider it as a negative. Uh, stock might see some um, a weakness as such uh, uh, to start with, but I believe it should gradually uh, recoup. Uh, as I said, 1.8 to 2 billion dollars is still on the higher side. It's not lower by any means. Now, what caveat the index provider has added is um, they will be evaluating the foreign room in HDFC Bank. Uh, let's say the foreign room falls below 20 percentage uh, weight up, but the second tranche of weight up would happen in the November review. Now, what I think is um, I will assign a very high probability of uh, the second tranche uh, of uh, upweighting happening as well because uh, uh, the foreign room coming off to below 20 percent would entail a six and a half to seven billion worth of FPI buying, which I believe is on a high side. Okay. So, um, uh, Sriram, the, so HDFC, the impact is going to play out in, in two parts now. And I, I think you mentioned about uh, 1800 that's the figure that we are working with in terms of the the money coming in uh, you think mu much of uh, this is already factored in the stock price uh, obviously when the eventual money flows in we'll see that kind of impact but uh, going forward uh, how do you expect the uh, the stock to shape up given the technical event and you know the next one now in november yeah. So looking at the uh, positioning uh, aspect here, so in terms of open interest stocks, uh, stock uh, on the futures like uh, HDFC Bank on the futures like carries an aggregated open interest of roughly three, three and a half billion dollars. All of it we cannot uh, consider as prepositioners. On the uh, so when the month began, it has roughly added uh, 150 to 200 million worth of open interest, which again is on, on the higher side. Um, so so as I said. Uh, 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 1.8 to 2 billion dollars is still on the higher side. It's not lower by any means. So, from an uh, f with with due respect to fundamentals, uh, the wait up event uh, uh, sh sh should have an uh, a positive impact in the name. Okay. Because I'm, All right. I'm assigning a high probability for the second uh, 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 tranching also to take place in the November review. Uh, Shridham, any other stocks which should see action? Ziders, Prestige, Dixon, or you think most of this is already in a way played out? Uh, Prashant, most of the names have uh, played out because the seven editions were largely in line with the street expectations. Uh, uh, it's, it's factored in according to me. Okay, all right. Quick word on uh, the Adani Group stocks as well. MSCI has lifted the embargo on them. Uh, how do you read this? Yeah, so in another development, uh, MSCI finally decided to lift the embargo on the Arani Group names. Uh, for the last one year, the index provider was not um, um, incorporating the shares and uh, flow changes uh, uh, with respect to Arani Group. In a welcome move, they have lifted the, uh, lifted the uh, freeze that they had in place for the past one year. Uh, so yeah. So in terms of in terms of uh, uh, stocks, uh, Adani Energy Solutions will be there on uh, radar. I think it's a very healthy probable for the November MSCI rebal event as an inclusion potential. Adani Energy Solutions. Okay. Uh, so that could be on the radar. Overall, Sriram. I mean, I don't know if you have the numbers uh, back of hand right now. Uh, what would be the weights of all the Adani entities put together right now on the MSCI indices? And if you would expect that to change at all, I mean, if you expect any changes in the in the near future, now that at least the freeze is off. Uh, I don't have the figure at the back of my mind. So, oh, okay. so this rebal, uh, the flow factors are getting uh, uh, lower, at least for this rebal.
because right. as i said uh, the index provider hasn't uh, uh, touched the uh, fraud factors and share changes in the last one years all right uh, shriram we'll leave it there quick conversation but useful as always thank you for joining us here uh, with some of that